We've recently purchased an FT550 and wiring up an ECU may seem daunting, but we're gonna simplify things towards where you can do it as well. Let's go. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, I'm Matt. I recently purchased an FT550 ECU for a 1.8 Chevy Cruze project. We've been tuning the car with HP tuners with some good luck. But now we're commanding more boost than the stock ECU really cares for. Can't a man command 27 pounds of boost? And to get that power back and to be able to get control of our engine and be able to do whatever we're commanding the engine to do, we're installing the new FT550 ECU. But before we do that, I'm gonna show you a little trick that will help make wiring your new ECU into your current car a lot easier, at least for myself. So what we're doing is we're basically going to unpin the stock ECU and let the FT550 take control of that. And we're gonna dive into the computer here. I'm gonna show you what's going to be really helpful. And there's plenty of free programs out there that you can do this with. And it's mapping out your wiring, kind of simplifying it towards where it's easy to understand. And you take it as a subsystem by system, gauge by gauge. Let's dive in, we'll talk some more. All right, boys and girls, here is a wiring diagram that I put together in Adobe Illustrator. I'm sure there's plenty of free programs out there, or if you take the time to put this together, it really makes it a lot simpler to be able to wire up your car, take it system by system. Like one of the unique features about fuel tech is that you're able to trigger a particular, let's say fuel injectors, your ignition coils, you're able to trigger those within the software and test these things as you wire things up. So just in case you pulled the wrong pin from the ECU or before you get too deep into the project, you can double check things and make sure you wired things up correctly. And if you'd like a copy of this, just to kind of look at it, plan your own wiring schematic or whatever to kind of help break things down, let me know and I'll leave a link down below so you can download it, take a look at it. With the FT550, it does give you a wiring diagram based off of your needs and what you're asking for from the engine. In my case, I want to be able to control the fuel injection, the ignition, the drive-by-wire throttle, we're gonna add flex fuel to the car and we want to be able to start and stop the engine using the FT550's touchscreen as well. So we got that wired up in there. And then we need to be able to get all of our other readouts such as intake air temperatures, engine coolant temperature, oil pressure, fuel pressure. Once we told the FT software what outputs we're looking for and what inputs we're looking for, it spit out this diagram. I just printed it as a PDF brought it into Adobe Illustrator and kind of connected the dots. If you really wanted to, you could probably do this with pen and paper. Just know that you're gonna need a lot of paper. And one of the great things about doing it in the computer is being able to hit undo. So let's dive in and I'll show you where I started. So I initially brought in this whole setup right here, which is the A plug and the B plug. And it already had all of the labels on each one of the outputs and inputs. And so really all I had to do is connect the dots. Now granted, I did have to find all of my vehicle schematics such as the ECU, which I have in this folder here. I got it off of alldata.com. The biggest ones that we were working with really was the pinouts for the ECU. And if we scroll down, here's a listing of everything that is pinned into the ECM. And so we're able to map this out by saying, for instance, so if we trace back fuel injector number one from our wiring diagram here, we trace that back to our connector that we have planned out on our wiring diagram here. I marked it as X2. Going back to our wiring diagram, I've gotten in and an out essentially, or they, they might be shared. We do have two different plugs, I know that. <laughs> So we have plug X2 and then plug X1. If I look at X2 
and for fuel injector number one, I've got 50 marked here. So if we go to our wiring diagram or the, the pin numbers for our ECU, if I scroll all the way down to 50, we'll see that we have fuel injector control number one. Now the ECU in my particular case does send out five volt signals to the sensors for your, your pressure readings, temperatures and all that. And I am using the stock fuse box and relay. So that's gonna save us a lot of time. Using the key on with the car, it's still going to activate all of our systems that need power, whether that's 12 volt or five volt. And really all we're using from the stock ECU is the signal going to our new ECU, the, the fuel tech, letting it handle that. So that makes it a, a lot easier in the sense that you can see here, our 12 volt source, I'm not gonna do anything with that. I'm basically using the signal side that's going to come from the FT550 to connect that circuit and shoot off the fuel injector for whatever time it calculates for our air fuel ratio and all that jazz. And the same thing goes for our coils over here. We're just going to let the fuel tech manage all that. In three of these wires, I'm not even going to unpin. I'm going to let the ECU handle that, the stock ECU that is. We'll let it handle the power, the ground, and then our low reference, which is essentially a ground for the signal as well. So if we look at our coil number one here, it's on the X2 connection side of the ECU. So all we have to do is go down here and look X270, and we even have our wire color and all that. We go to X2, we'll take a look up at the top, make sure we got it. And we'll take a look at number 70 down here, which is ignition control number one. And it gives us the colors and everything, which is blue and violet, in which I was able to color each one of these so that way I can print this out, have all this plotted out, look at this printout, and I might do it pretty damn big so it's easy to see, right? Now, don't get me wrong, this isn't something that I did in 30 minutes. It did take me about three days on and off kind of playing around with this double and triple checking everything to get it down. But one of the cool things about having some sort of program or Microsoft Paint or something like that is I actually could go up here in this top right hand corner and have everything set up towards where it will be nice and easy once I go to actually wire the car to trace everything back. So my coils, I could turn that section on, make that nice and easy to understand. Then we have our fuel injectors. I could turn the coils off only deal with the sections that I need to, my crankshaft position sensor as well, and so on and so forth. Even though this may seem like something that not everybody can do, you can certainly do it. It's not something that I'm sure everybody or the angle that everybody is going to go with, but this has been helpful for me and will be super helpful once it comes time to actually wiring up the fuel tech in place of the stock ECU. It's not completely going away, but we are taking quite a bit of things away from it, giving the fuel tech control, relieving the stock ECM of its duties so that way it's no longer putting us in limp mode, taking control of our throttle. So that is the update. So for those of you that are tuning in on an update on the car, there's the update. That's what I've been working on. I have ordered everything I need. Part of the great thing about this is it helps you kind of visualize everything you may need as well before you go in and order things so you're not having to do it in separate shipments. However, I ordered everything right when Cyber Monday was going on. Slowly was putting everything into my cart and it went from a couple, two or three days shipping to an entire week. However, all's not completely lost. So we do have <laughs> these three items in. So we're getting there. I'm just waiting for that stuff to come in. And I'm also kind of wrapping my mind around what I want to do as far as the placement. I, I think I know what I want to do, but then I see how other people have their setup as well in which I could just mount it to the steering column and leave my stock dash. Uh, let's go to this video, shall we? As far as 
mounting the FK550, I could either just mount it to this plastic here and have the Nano Pro over here, but I'm also thinking about just removing this whole thing because we will be getting engine temp, fuel, RPM, and speed all from this FT550. My only concern is, you know, my mileage and keeping up with that. I'm not sure the ECU keeps up with that without this instrument cluster in there. So you'll let me know down in the comments what you think. What should I do? Just pull this out, make a custom mount that just fills this space here and we set the fuel tech here and we have the Nano Pro over here where I could just use as a touch start. This other side I could use for other things down the road. Who knows, maybe a switch or something. What do you think? Should I remove the entire instrument panel? Since essentially the fuel tech will be handling the RPM signal and displaying it on the dash, the, the fuel tech screen, fuel level, engine temperature, mile per hour, all those things. I'm thinking about getting rid of it and making some sort of custom plate to fill that void and let that fuel tech mount off of, as well as that Nano. But let me know what you think down in the comments. And if any of you have a 3D printer or are really good at that and want to help out, I could do a 3D scan of the empty cavity and where everything bolts up to. And I don't know, it'd be cool to have something 3D printed, but I'm not very good at that stuff. I, I can do this simple stuff like this, but uh, that would take me a while to do, and perhaps maybe something I'll do in the future. That's all I got for now, crew. So sometime later next week, I'll start working on it, vlogging it, and kind of sharing my experience as to how everything is going. You know, if I run into any hiccups. Until next time, peace out. <laughs>